Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm uh, going to talk about a um, a bit of uh, a bit of fun that I had back in high school, and it's uh, it's this is the kind of thing that where they I kind of had the the reputation for being a bit of a nerd, I think, but um, the uh, but uh, my my roommate and uh, and then my best friend and uh, from high school uh, and I were all working with a a problem. Actually, my roommate's one that, that uh, introduced me to it. But it's called the four four color problem. And there's a um, there was a suggestion, a mathematical hypothesis, if you will, that that for any given configuration of a map on a piece of paper, two-dimensional, you could color all of the different segments or sections, countries, whatever, on the map using only four colors without the same color coming into contact with itself. Um, so, like for instance, if you started with a circle in the middle, and then that's one color, and then around it you do another circle, uh, that could be a second color. Well, if you divide that exterior circle up, you can, if you draw one, cut it in half, let's say, we put a line on one side and the other side, so you actually now have um, three colors coming in contact with each other. The If you then draw another line splitting uh, one of those sections in half, it will form four different areas that are all touching each other. So you definitely need four colors for that. However, there's no way to draw a shape that will contact all four of those colors at the same time, so you'd need a fifth color. And we <laughs> we put our heads on this. We tried every configuration we could think of, but what I finally came to realize was that in order to contact all four of the colors, you end up cutting off one of the colors. So it ends up always reverting back to one of the four that's already there. The new section that you've created that would touch the colors that are there would end up cutting off one of the colors so it wouldn't be actually touching it so it could be reusing that color and um, first I was going around with this my, and my roommate we were we were fighting with it and we finally I finally came to the conclusion that each time you got to the point where it came to adding that fifth color it always cut one of the other colors off and so therefore you could reuse a color and um, it became clear to me that there was just no way to do this um, but anyway then I passed it along to my my friend he, he's now a medical doctor and uh, but he he gave, he showed it with it to his sons <laughs> and then they showed them the problem because it's a, an interesting one and, and actually the proof for it at that time there was no proof for it the proof for it ended up requiring computers and massive numbers of map uh, uh, models that had to um, that had to represent all the possibilities and then they finally proved that you could do it only with four colors but um, at the time there was no proof so it was just us using our heads trying to figure it out but to me, it became quite clear that uh, in, in each each situation where you um, you 
you added that fifth color po possibility, it always ended up cutting off one of the other ones. And so it, it, it always could be done with four colors. So I was not surprised they finally proved that because I, 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 I was very sure. And I think, you know, most mathematicians were quite sure at that time, but they just hadn't proved it yet. Not, you know, rigidly, uh, rigorously. But it was, uh, it was a fun little project. Those little kind of puzzles can, uh, can keep your, keep your mind active. And uh, that's the kind of stuff I, uh, I always enjoyed when, uh, when I was in high school. I, I still do. And uh, so anyway, thought I'd share that with you. Thanks for watching. And uh, click like and subscribe. See you next time.